traditional English suet roll or often called a clanger in certain parts of the country are found in a belt across central southern England round about Gloucestershire over to round about Bedfordshire and they've got all sorts of fillings. One of the most popular is bacon and onion and it is a suet pudding or it is a suet pastry which is made with self-raising flour and we've got shredded beef suet in this case but you can get vegetarian suet from the same company. You'll also need a teaspoon of salt and you'll either need to cut up some smoked bacon or green bacon however you prefer it uh, or just buy a pack of bacon lardons as I've done here. So first thing I need to do is get the bacon fried off and uh, the pastry made. So I'm using a 200 gram pack of bacon lardons which I'm just going to fry until they're brown. What I like to do once the bacon starts to brown is I like to add uh, the onion at this stage just to get a slight turn on it because it just gives it more flavour in the finished dish. So I'm adding that in, so that's half a, a brown onion with 200 grams of bacon. And I'll just stir that around. until the onion just turns translucent and once it gets to that stage I take it off the heat and set it aside. Meanwhile warm up your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And once that's done just turn off the heat and set it aside. Okay, to make the dough you add two cups of self-rising flour, self-raising flour, and you're going to need one cup of suet. Add all that in. And you'll also need your salt. So it's about half a teaspoon of salt. And you need now water to mix to make it into a fairly stiff dough. Okay, add the water a little at a time. So you know where you are. Okay, I've worked into a nice stiff dough. Something like that. Okay, so on a floured surface, get your dough. And roll it out. And you want it to be rolled out fairly square. Use a bit of flour to keep it nice on the surface and roll it out. And the idea is to get a nice long roll like this because we're turning this into a roly poly. Right, it's really simple from here. We take our bacon and onion mix and we spread it out. Don't worry about the brown in there, that's all good flavour. Spread that out along the whole of your suet roll. Leave it a bit at the end like that and you'll see why in a second. Get that bit on, and then all we do is we start to roll it up. It's really straightforward. And we finish it like that, just tucking in the ends. Don't need to go too mad. And you end up 
with something like that. Right, now uh, you might just want to brush the top of it with a bit of milk but I just like to leave it exactly as it is uh, and then I'll get that now onto a baking tray and into the oven. So there we have it, It's um, I've put it on a, a draw away um, silicone mat on my pizza tray. Uh, I think that will be perfectly good for cooking and that will now go into my oven for around about 40, to, 40 minutes to 1 hour at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, thanks to Dagenham Dave for suggesting this. It's over 30 years since I've cooked a, a clanger as I call it. Uh, but it's a really great cheap uh, way to feed your family really because it's just a bit of bacon um, and half an onion and some suet pastry so you'll just see how that cooks up now and uh, thanks again to Dave. Cheers mate. Okay, let's get this bad boy out of the oven and see what it's doing. So that's been about an hour. Oh yeah. And there you see it's baked and it's got a nice hard crust. Right, you can also steam these. The recipe for this whole thing will be below in the description below and there'll be instructions there for steaming it as well. Uh, when you steam it it doesn't have a hard crust and um, it takes about two and a half hours uh, baking it in the oven it, as you see it only takes about an hour. So let's do a quick reveal of that. Right let's cut it right down the middle and show you what we have. So there you go, and we'll get you in close on that and show you what we have. So there you have it, bacon and onion suet roll or a clanger as we know it. Now you can let this cool off completely and take it as a portable snack, great for lunch boxes or picnics. Um, it's also very nice when served hot with gravy, veg and potatoes. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.